I want you to take a look at these two numbers, 1,500 and change and also 89,000 and change. What in the world could have jumped that much from 2019 to 2020? Well, we're going to show you. Yeah, it's complaints about airline refunds or the lack of them. Yes, a lot of flights were canceled by the airlines, but even more flights were canceled by passengers and those passengers wanted refunds instead of vouchers. And now those vouchers are even expiring. Consumer Reports sent this letter to 10 U.S. airlines calling on them to provide full refunds to all consumers whose flights were canceled or affected by COVID-19. And just this week, Senators Ed Markey and Richard Blumenthal joined in in sending letters to all major U.S. Uh, airlines demanding flight credits, especially those issued during the pandemic that they should never expire. The airlines should refund the price of their ticket. They're not doing that. The least state they should do is extend the expiration date of that ticket. The airlines don't want to do that. U.S. Airlines did give about $13 billion in refunds last year. They say that's up 72% from 2019, but there's still an estimated, get this, $10 billion in flight vouchers. And again, may, many are set to expire. So while lawmakers are putting pressure on the airlines, what do you do in the meantime? Ask for an extension for the voucher if the expiration date is coming up. Uh, see if you can get it converted into another type of credit. For example, United Airlines has something called electronic travel certificates. You can get it converted and those are automatically good for two years. So it'll allow you to stretch it out. Consumer Reports says you can also ask to turn your vouchers into frequent flyer miles with your airline's reward program.